Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you five different websites where they will pay you $100 per survey or $100 per hour to take surveys. And the first one is at respondent.io. This is a website where you can take part in focus groups and all sorts of surveys nationwide in the United States. And when you go to their actual projects available right now, you see a very high frequency of new surveys being posted. You see some every hour, every few minutes. And a lot of these are not too long, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, an hour. This one's $100 for an hour of your time, looking for professionals for a one hour interview on writing experience at, at work. Website feedback wanted. You can actually sort these as well once you actually log in. So for instance, when I log in, I can sort these and filter them by, okay, is this remote? Yeah, I wanna do remote only. Is this industry professional? Which basically means these are, a lot of times the highest paying ones, like if you wanna make like $300 for a survey or something, a lot of times it's gonna be for something related to your profession. But if you want just a general population survey, that means you can answer questions about just about anything. So it could be say, um, what kind of TV shows you like to watch, what kind of hygiene products you use, and things like that. So when you narrow it down, then you can see that you have people that want maybe some website feedback, men and women to interview about their hair, household chores, travel enthusiasts, all sorts of stuff like that. And you see it's $275 for 75 minutes, uh, $145 for an hour, $150 for 120 minutes, and when you click on one of these, it'll give you a little more information in the description here. Like this one, for instance, is looking for parents. Um, 13 questions, remote location. Make sure you click on that so you don't have to appear somewhere in person. And then they'll tell you when it was posted and what day they're looking for people to take part. So um, this one, for instance, is on November 29th. So it just gives you an idea of kind of what you're looking at, but they have so many different surveys here on respondent.io. This is one of the first ones I would check. Next you have watchlab.com. Watchlab is very similar. It has focus groups, it has surveys. Usually these are gonna be US based. You can sign up at watchlab.com. Just go to join our community right there. And then you can check their postings on a Facebook page. So they have a Facebook page at facebook.com slash watchlab research. And here you can see the latest surveys that they have posted here. Like this one's $125 um, on groceries. So pretty, I mean, pretty much everybody gets some sort of groceries, I would think, and you could take part in that. Um, participants, participants nationwide paid market research opportunity on social media for $100. You have another one posted on the 14th. $300 seeking participants in the New York City area. So obviously that one's a little bit more local. Um, you have another one that's nationwide on shopping. So when you click on one of these, usually uh, Facebook will be like, are you sure you wanna leave? Oh, okay, they didn't even do that this time. But uh, when you go on the page on the link and you can, then you can see all the details here, uh, the topic, genders, ages, kind of the demographic they're kind of looking for, type of study, sessions available, what dates, well, how long it takes, whether it's nationwide or not, $100 or however much it's going to pay you. And then you can go to the next page and get started from there. So definitely check out Watch Lab as well. And if you're not sure if you wanna do it yet, make sure, just go and check and see what their listings are first at the at Watch Lab Research on Facebook. Next, you have another one that's very similar called Focus Scope, which is at focusscope.com. At Focus Scope, they have uh, more focus groups and a lot of these are city specific, but they have remote ones as well. They also have a Facebook page where they post a lot of these, but if you wanna sign up, you need to sign up at focusscope.com and just go to join our community. It's a kind of a link at the top right. Now, if you go to Facebook, you can see some of the ones that they've posted. So here's one that they just posted on November 8th. It's actually already done, but they don't seem to post as often as some of the others. So that's another thing is post frequency can vary depending on which one of these you check. For instance, um, respondent is one of the ones that's usually more active but you might just take, take part in as many of these as possible so you get the most opportunities possible. But with this one, you have, uh, say, one that's virtual, $250 new project, 
and then you just click the link to sign up. You have another one that has to do with parenting. It's gonna be in winter 2022, so it doesn't look like it's happened yet. Remote, nationwide, uh, $225. Here's another one that has to do with technology apps, November 2022, nationwide, remote, $125. When you click on one of these, Facebook will send you to the page where you fill out your information and then you can start taking surveys. Another one to check is findfocusgroups.com. So this is like a job board type of website, except it's for surveys and focus groups. So when you go to findfocusgroups.com, you can just click the button right here. It says see newest focus groups, and then you'll be redirected to where they have the latest ones available. So. Some of these will be uh, in specific cities, so make sure you pay close attention to those. You can also see when they were posted, and then you can also see um, nationwide ones as well. Like this one was nationwide, 11-15-2022 for $250. Um, this has to do with investments. And these are posted by all sorts of different people, so the, the actual like description of these might vary a little more than what you've noticed on watch lab and respondent and some of these other sites where these are pre they're pretty much all the same format it's very easy to read and you know you just have bullet points that describe each of these surveys well these might vary more because it's like i said it's like a job sport so multiple companies multiple people are posting on here and they might have kind of a they don't they seem to have more freedom as far as the actual layout of the post so when you click on one of these um, for instance, some of them will tell you more than others, and then you just click the link to apply for them and to go from there. So it might even redirect you to a different website. So just keep that in mind. It might be a little bit different than what you're looking for, depending on your criteria. But um, they have pages and pages of these available. They have a lot of different ones that are also nationwide in the US, um, like hair care focus group, banking apps, you have investments. Uh, clothes, steamer, online focus group on food products. So you can just kind of click on the ones that make sense for you. Maybe they pay you well. This one you can see pretty easy way out here online, $125, 90 minute group, webcam interview, and when it's actually going to take place. So if you want like a job board where a lot of people post focus groups, this is one to check out. And last but not least, you have userinterviews.com. User interviews, again, very similar. Um, lots of in-person ones, but they'll have some online ones as well. And you'll see, it'll tell you right here, they have kind of these uh, study formats here on the left side. And you just check the box that says online. And it'll even tell you quick apply for some of these. This one's $10 for one hour. That's pretty low paying. Um, $800, eight weeks. I don't know exactly. You probably have to track something on your phone or something with that one. Uh, $10 for 35 minutes, $75 for one hour. That's a little closer to what we're used to seeing. Uh, social media study, $125 for one hour. That's pretty good. That's at the beginning of December, one-on-one. -on -one, it's online. They're looking for feedback on a product that they are building. That's what a lot of these are. They're just, they're like feedback on a website or product, or they're trying to gather data to maybe plan a product or website in the future, you know, things like that. So also check out userinterviews.com if you want to find some hundred dollar surveys here and there. Hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want to be notified before everyone else about these opportunities and I'll see you in the next video.